All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on a 2006 Lexus and we're gonna be replacing the alternator on it. Symptoms of the car were it died while um, I was driving it down the road. Somebody helped me jump start it, drove it back home, and as just as I made it home, died on me again. So I took the battery to O'Reilly's to have it checked out. Um, they tested it, the battery was good, so I had them run a test on my alternator as well, and the alternator failed the test, so I need to replace it, okay? So the alternator is going to be located here at the front, let me see if I can point with this tool, it's going to be right here, we'll, we'll get to it, okay? We'll, we'll, once I get some covers off, we'll be able to see it, but just so you know, it's right here, okay? On, on the right side all right so what we want to do is remove all these covers here and here and for that you'll need one of these tools you can buy it at Walmart or online they're really cheap probably like five dollars and all you have to do is you got to remove these little things here which I removed most of them already okay here 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 and here and all you have to do is get under it okay when it pops up see that one flew out but anyways it pops up and um just don't lose them mine landed here i'm just gonna put them with the rest of them well i guess a step that i miss is the cover on the engine which is now laying over there goes here and it's just two nuts here one there one there and that's a 10 millimeter socket okay so you just remove those the cover comes right off set it to the side and then that's when you start removing these covers so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go to the next step all right so now with the covers removed this is what it should look like okay so i went ahead and removed this cover the front cover the side cover i left it alone there's no need to remove that one so we still can't really see the alternator at this point it's right there <clears throat> so Next step is going to be we're going to remove this, okay, so we can have better access to it. And it's got two bolts right here. That is a 10 millimeter, okay. Obviously, you just loosen those up. And you can screw them out. And we'll just move that out of the way, you know. Um, that's, um, you can see it goes to here and we can just pick it up, set it over here. Just out of the way in the meantime. Now... After we do that and before we do anything else Because that's the alternator, it, you know, it has to do with the current of the car the bolts tell that we're gonna Unplug the battery just remove the terminals, you know, we want to be safe So let me go ahead and remove this then I'll remove the battery or not remove it But just unplug it and we'll go from there Okay, so I removed the um, Coolant tank reservoir whatever you want to call it I just set it right here to the side and then as you can see I removed the terminals from the battery all you need to remove is the negative me personally just trying to be safe I'd rather be safe than sorry I go ahead and take both of them off so that's off now next thing we want to do and now I think we're able to see the alternator right here okay um, you want to trace the wire that or the connection that goes to the alternator so you can unplug it okay and let's see so i've never replaced one on this one so i'm starting to look around and i think this is it right here let's see if i can focus that there there we go that looks like it goes to it and here's another here's another one right next to it let's see if i can get that on video that one right there okay that one where I have my thumb right there okay and that type of connection is kind of like this right here all you have to do is like press down and pull back so we'll we'll do that when we get to it it looks like to really get to it I'm gonna have to move this out of the way so here's uh, the nut right here here's another one and I'll have to see what else I'll have to unplug so let me go ahead and do that and we'll go from there 
they really did hide this one so so let's let me go ahead and do that and see what happens all right so I went ahead and removed three bolts here so I could pick this up okay but it looks like I need to remove it from here and I'm not sure how to do that so I'll have to look here in a minute figure that out now by doing that I was able to see a little bit more here and as y'all can see here so we got to remove that nut that's the cable that goes to it and right under is the other connection that I was telling you about earlier that's the same as this one over here or that one now um, before I go any farther with that what I'm gonna go ahead and do is remove the belt okay so the belt goes on the alternator so what we want to do here is um, get you a, a wrench this is a 9 16 okay and it'll fit on this pulley right here right in the center okay and focus on that here on that pulley There's so and what you want to do is like if you were gonna tighten it okay or loosen it rather so you go up as if you were going left now I'm gonna need my hand my other hand to do that so I'm not gonna be able to show it exactly on the video but pull up with the wrench that moves up as you can see and then you slide the belt out okay and you pay close attention how the belt goes on the pulleys so that when you have to put it back on you put it on on the right way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that all right so the belt is off as you can see now I can move it by hand and here's the other pulley too so remember it just goes uh, on top of this one goes under this one and on top of your your alternator okay so we got that out of the way so next we're gonna go ahead and remove this bolt here and there's another bolt down here I believe you can see it so those two bolts hold the alternator in place so let's go ahead and remove those Oh, I'm um, sorry guys I almost forgot so this is a 14 millimeter okay there's the 14 millimeter socket as you can see it fits right on it okay and same for the bottom side alright guys so here's the next thing I did so I went ahead and removed this piece right here that was holding these wires here so I can move this out of the way well I'm not gonna lie I couldn't figure out how to pull it out <laughs> I broke it it's just a plastic piece uh, which when I put it back I'll have to figure out um, how to put it back but it look th this thing right here it looks like a little bolt so I can probably put a nut on it and I bet it's the same size as the ones that I removed earlier so I'll probably just get one of those at the local hardware store and put it on just to hold basically it holds this wire in place here okay and to be honest I'm not even sure that you're gonna need it because you have another uh, thing right here that holds that cable in place so you know it's done so anyway so next step is um, so this connection here okay and that's a uh, 10 millimeter down there as well so I got me a ratchet and an extension and the socket and we're gonna go ahead and remove that okay so that we can move that wire out all right, so I got that cable out, removed the nut, this pops right up. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it out of the way for now. And now, it's a little dark, but here's my connection there, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that back. And then I should be able to loosen the bolts up front and I should be good to go. All right, guys, so, I got that um, connection off. Let me see where that is. Here we go. Okay. This is um, this is what's connected to your alternator, okay? And let me see if you can see this here. I know it's a little dark. It's kind of hard to reach in there. But you see this? Okay. That's the one you press down and pull out, okay? And it will come off now. It's a little hard to reach in there. I mean, I could barely fit my hands. So, you got big hands, you're going to have a lot of trouble reaching in there. Okay? I went ahead and removed my bolts. One was here, one was there. That was a 14 millimeter again. Let me show you. Here. 
okay this one went on the top this one went on the bottom just remember which one goes where and <laughs> and when I removed those I noticed you know it's still not coming out which means there's another bolt or nut holding it and that's gonna be in the back normally they have three bolts okay normally they're all in the front this one only has two in the front so I'm afraid that somewhere back here in there there's another one and you won't be able to see it I mean as you can see it's dark in there I can't really put my phone in there either to show you so locate that bolt and remove it and it's probably gonna be the same thing a 14 millimeter okay so if you find it just loosen it and then it should come off everything else is off as you can see that connection and everything is off once you remove that it should come right off okay so um, I'm gonna see if I can find it remove it and then we'll go to the next step all right guys sorry my cell phone died so anyways uh, remember I said there was a bolt that was hidden the only way to reach it is through here and you're basically blind you know you can't really um, it's really hard to see you have to look closely and basically kind of reach your hand in there and and grab it find it but let me show you um, here it is I got it out and, and I can explain it to you hopefully it'll help you so the way the alternator sits in the car if you're looking at the front it's like this okay and then we were when we were on the side you're obviously looking at it like this remember that one connection is here you press here on the side on the connection that stays on the car and it pops out okay and then you remove this uh, nut here which was a uh, 10 millimeter okay this is the bolt back here well it's a nut okay and that's a 12 millimeter so basically because from the side it's sitting like this you see what the problem is from up above you can't see it it's at an angle so you have to reach your hand in there and basically touch it you know so you put your um, socket in there 12 millimeter with an extension turn it then reach in there uh, unscrew it by hand because once you uh, untighten that thing it's really easy to um, to get out okay so anyways once you do that now here's where the main bracket sits right here okay or one of the main brackets that holds it so you push down to get it loose now to get it out of the car as you can see here it's a very tight spot I had to remove this pulley here okay this pulley goes here it's gonna sit in there so you can see all right so because it's a tight spot you can't move uh, or you can't get the alternator out of there it's gonna bump in the pulley or in this bracket so the easiest thing for me to remove out of the two was the pulley and that's a 14 millimeter okay so you just loosen that bolt then just move it out I'm not gonna take it out right now I'm just gonna leave it in there I don't have the new alternator with me um, I'm gonna order it um, so anyway so you remove that and then you're able to um, pull the alternator out so the reason I removed it before I order a new one was because I'm gonna order it online and I wanted to make sure that I get the right part you know I want to make sure that the connections are the same I went and priced it locally and it was about $250 I looked it up online I found one for $166 so obviously a no-brainer we're gonna go with that one so anyways I hope this video helped you and when you put it back obviously you know the, with the pulley out put it back in there bolt it in and then put everything back the way it was remember very important the belt make sure you put it the way it's supposed to be okay anyways I hope this helps it's a little bit um, it takes a little bit more work than with other cars normally the alternator is up top in the front you remove three bolts remove the belt and that's it um, with this one same process the only problem is the location of the alternator as you can see it's a tight spot and that one nut in the back I mean you're kind of going blind in there but anyways you can reach it you can find it so hopefully like I said this helped if it did you know share the video give it a like and we'll see you next time